Hi guys, my name is Mythical here with another Elite Dangerous video for you today. So there's going to be another tutorial. Um, it's going to be different from the recent one I've been doing about trading. It's not going to be a rolls tutorial. It's just going to be a general Elite Dangerous tutorial. Um, and today I will be talking about the Galaxy map and the system map. Two very useful tools in the Elite Dangerous game. Now if we go over to the Galaxy map. So you go over to this tab and go over to the Galaxy map. Um, you come up with this screen. Um, now, this is the um, where all the stars are on this section here, and you can move around this part of the map um, by holding down both keys and moving it left, right, up, and down, moving around. You can uh, rotate the map by holding down the left key and doing this, and you can. Um, change your plane that you're looking at by holding down the right key and then going up and up and down and you'll go down and up the um, different planes of the galaxy map and then you also have the zoom key by so if you scroll in and out with a scroll key and then you just zoom out and zoom in and you can zoom out all the way and see the whole galaxy and then zoom all the way back in again here now the first tab on the left um, which we'll be looking at is the info tab and then I have to select another system because um, there is a problem with the info for some reason so if I go to here and click it and then select it like that it should stay up but it's not so sometimes there's something wrong with the galaxy map at the moment I think Elite Frontier are working with it but it just doesn't seem to work sometimes there we go but this is the info tab. Uh, it tells you the uh, name of the system you're at. If there is any description, so any history um, for the Elite Dangerous Universe. So there'll be one for Seoul. There'll be some for important Federation Empire systems, etc., etc. Next down, you have the star type. Now, um, this is the one I want to talk about the most on this tab. This is a new one I've learned. I'm not sure if a lot of people actually know about the star type. Um, but the star type is made up of three digits. Well, depending on how many stars are in the system. But for every star, there are three digits. The first is the letter. And that um, defines what type of star it is. So if it's a... O star, an M star, G star, um, any of those different types of stars. And this letter tells you, so I know in this system there is a G type star. Um, the 9 um, here, or the numeral here, um, shows how hot or cold the star is for that given um, uh, type you've given it. So 0 is the hot hottest and 9 is the coolest so this is a very very cool, cool um, G type star. Um, the last one is the V um, the V, and this is not actually a V it's the Roman numeral for 5 and this basically tells you what the look of the star is and um, what type of light and what type of colour it is. So V is, uh, or 5, is the sequence star and it goes from uh, 1 or 0, sorry, all the way to 7. So 0 or 1A, um, A would is a subsection, so you might get a GA and that is a subsection, so that is different to a GB um, in some slight way, but um, 1 or 0 or 1a is a hypergiant, um, a 1 is a supergiant, 2 is a bright star, 3 is for regular giants, 4 is for subgiants, and then main sequence stars. So this is a normal size star. You get absolutely massive stars and they will be 1 to 4, say. And then you get um, 6, which is sub dwarfs, so like red dwarfs, and then you get um, at 7 which is white dwarves um, so in this case this is a G type star a very cool G type star um, which is a uh, just a normal sequence star um, below the star type which I hope was quite interesting 
the is the allegiance and then so this is the um the the main party if you like in this system the controlling faction in this system um their allegiance so it could be empire it could be federation it could be alliance it could be independent it could be none if there's no people in that system um then if there are people in this system you have uh economy so this one's an industrial economy so that the main um economy type is industrial there might be other types um government is a corporate government and they do different things slightly different things i'll be talking about them and then um in another video sorry and then you have population which is um quite important uh for the commodities market um a bigger population normally means a bigger demand for certain things but too big a population and then it goes down again kind of thing it's you know quite technical kind of thing next tab is the navigations tab um this is basically used to, to find systems so if i type in soul here i'll go and then press enter i will go to soul um system and then the route can um be used to go to different locations so i can click here on my selected location and I go to the selected location on that. I can click here and I'll go to my current location like so. And then this last one um, is the most used for the navigation. This is the jump data um, part of it. Then you have a checkbox here with either economical routes or fast routes. And this basically changes what your jump drive will be doing or um, frame shift drive. Um, so economical routes they will it will create a route from one system to another say this one here and it will make it as um, efficient as possible in terms of fuel so you will lo lose the least amount of fuel by doing it like this fastest routes however get you there in the least amount of jumps so for example I have just knocked um, all three jumps out by being able to jump all the way directly to that system in just one jump because I have a high um, FSD range. The last one is used by traders and um, basically what this does is um, if you are um, trading and you know you're going to have a certain commodity you can work out how large your or how large your jump range is going to be so if you say I'm hauling 16 tons of cargo I know that I can jump 21.34 light years um, and so that is used by trades and the yellow bar selects what it actually you're selected and blue is actually what it is at the moment so I haven't got anything so at the moment in my cargo hold so um, that is none um, then we go over to view this is probably the most important and commonly used tab in the galaxy map you have two um, different views you have realistic view which shows you the stars and their uh, real colors and then you go over to map and the icons turn to blobs um, now you have several different filters for these blobs and uh, these blobs can represent different things depending on what filter you put in so you have no filters so they're all they're just the color of their star so basically this is the star type one without you being able to deselect any of them then you have a population filter you have one here as well but um this you know um is basically populated so if i move this bar up then certain ones disappear certain ones reappear disappear etc etc and you, you can work out different populations so you might use that for trading um, then you have the allegiance so as a, again this shows you the different colors so this one here for example is an empire uh, allied system this one is an independent system if I zoom out you have red systems they're federation systems and if I zoom out a bit further you will be able, might be able to see some green ones I can't really see any at the moment um, but green is the alliance um, then after that is the government so if you're looking for a certain type of government so I think I use mostly is the anarchy one because I always know there is a black market uh, in anarchy systems so if, ever, if ever I have illegal card and I cannot find the black market for the life of me I will just go to the nearest anarchy um, 
market and so much stuff there. After that is economy. Um, this is used by traders a lot to find the different systems that they can use. So if you want to find a high tech system, you would, you know, deselect all these and then you, you just get, you see all the high tech systems, um, and all that. By the way, if you want to know how to quickly deselect all of them, you, um, click one, hold down the left mouse, but mouse button and then drag your mouse down and it will deselect them all. And then to do again, you would hold it up and drag it back up and it selects them all like so. Um, next one is used by explorers mostly is the star class and this tells you the different classes and then you can filter them out. So if you wanted to find a scoopable star, you would just select the ones that are scoopable. So the O to M types and then you can see where you need to go to um, be able to fuel scoop. Um, the last two cartographic shop and trade data shop basically tell you systems where you can buy data. So for example, if I go to trade data shop, uh, you can see that there is trade data to, available to buy here. And sometimes that is used. I don't really use it often personally, but some other people do. So if I go back to economy, um, you then have the population one, which is, you know, so you can move the minimum bars and the maximum bars around and they all move around like so. Um, now the next thing is trade routes. This is important as well. This shows different trade routes so you can deselect them all so you don't have them. You can clear them so you can't see any of them. And then so you only select the ones you want. Show all so you're showing all of them like so. And then you can deselect each one. So if you want to find metals, you would deselect all the rest and then you have metals. And then you can go it click this arrow subcategory and select the certain metals you want and that is the view tab um, now the options tab is quite simple it's just basically a load of options so you can turn off grid you can turn off navigation markers all that you can all turn off all the markers and you can play with that to your heart's content till you're happy so in a minute we'll be going over to the system map so I'll see you over there Okay, so here we are in the system map. Um, this uh, basically is a system map. So when you come into a system, um, you'll first see, you'll first select the star. So it will give the name of the star, um, the description for the type of plant, uh, star it is, so K type star, uh, its age, solar masses, surface temperature, all the um, technical things on this bit here. Um, now if you move off by holding both uh, mouse buttons down and moving right or wherever right direction you want to go you'll come into this screen here and this gives you the information about the different factions in this system so it gives you the controlling faction and the security the population the allegiance all that um, information and then it breaks it down to what all the factions actually are so the name of them, uh, what government they are. So we've got democracy here, we've got anarchy, corporate, communism, etc, etc. Now, just like the um, star, if you select the planet, uh, it will give you a description here, and then it will give you another description of the type of planet, and then all the different atmosphere types, um, and stuff like that. So composition, atmosphere types, um, atmosphere breakdown, volcan, volcan oh, I can't say this word, volcanism, um, surface pressure, surface temperature, all that different stuff. Now, the other thing to do is if you click on the station icons, you get outposts and stations. You can tell what the different stations are because they have a different symbol, but it tells you who controls that station, what facilities there are, the commodities, refuel, repair, rearm. So there are no uh, outfitting um, department on here. Uh, what economy it is, for example, um, and then some stellar data as well. So it's just some interesting facts. The most important thing I find, though, especially if you're trading, is it tells you what the arrival point is. And what this is is how far away the station is from where you jump out of from the sun. Um, so. Basically, if you're 
if you're trading for example and you want the sign to stay in within 500 light seconds you do not even need to visit the system to know if it's within 500 light seconds um, which is really um, saving time when it comes to investigating and finding trade routes but yeah that is the system map um, you can zoom out to the full thing because some system maps are huge they can be s several stars but maybe four or five stars and they can have about 20 or so planets um, just depending on their size so this one only has one um, planet which is a well a terraformed earth-like world so it wasn't actually a terra um, earth like world to start with but it is now and yeah that is basically the system map um, so I hope that video uh, or this video is um, informative I hope you learnt something new um, I think most people will learn something new about the um, star types um, please tell me um, if I missed anything out um, you know I can confirm everything if you have any questions just ask it in the comment section below or um, through some various social media which I have um, listed in the description um, so I hope you like this video um, please do comment subscribe for more content um, and um, I'll see you next time